Hi, this is Kay Leo, back for another video. In this video, video I'm going to do a book review. The book I am reviewing on today is called Annie Coming Out. So this is the book. And it's a true story. It's about this girl named Annie. And she was born with severe cerebral palsy. And her parents took her home for the first three years of her life. And then when she was three, she got evaluated by a doctor. And that doctor went to men for her parents to put her in a hospital called St. Nicholas. The doctor told, told her parents great things about this hospital and so that is how she ended up in an institute. She ended up being in an institute in 1964. She um, Rosemary came to that hospital. Rosemary was a, um, a teacher. She came to that hospital, St. Nicholas. And once she came to the hospital, she realized how poorly the condition was. They had, at the at the St. Nicholas hospital, they had dirty um, conditions. Um, no toys for the kids, no television. No radios for the kids. There was nothing for the kids. And they didn't have any clothes as well. Um, the clothes that they did get was from the state. That's how the institute was like. Well, when Annie was 15, Rosemary started to work with Annie. And she realized that she was like really, really small. Uh, Annie was actually in a group with a bunch of other kids and they were called the um, Being Baggers group. And I guess they were like the smallest group of all. And so, Rosemary started working with them and then seeing how intelligent Annie was actually and that she wasn't profound. She didn't have profoundly mental retardation at all. A staff member put a pillow on Annie, and she started screaming. And um, Rosemary asked Annie what was wrong, and how Rosemary taught Annie was drew an alphabet board. So she had her like little alphabet board, and that's how she would um, her and. Annie would communicate and she did that with 11 other children as well and 11 other children was very intelligent as well and they also had cerebral palsy so these 12 children all had cerebral palsy and were extremely small um, and they were in, the, in this institute. And Annie told her what was wrong and Annie told Rosemary that she wanted to leave St. Nicholas and so, Rosie fought for Annie to leave St. Nicholas. And when she was 18, Annie got the right to leave St. Nicholas. 1980, she also, um, Rosemary fought for Annie White um, as well as being able to get out of the hospital. And when Annie was able to get out of the hospital, St. Nicholas Hospital, she was able to come home with Rosie. Her parents didn't want nothing to do with Annie at all. Um, she grew 40 centimeters. After, the, after being out of the hospital, she ended up uh, losing her baby teeth. After she got out of the hospital. And then um, she started, because she had a point with her, her finger when she did the alphabet board. And um, so a lot of times when you have CP, um, especially in severe cases, you see so Annie had a um, spastic cerebral palsy and that's what I have. And so her uh, hand will like really stiffen up and tighten up where she couldn't use her hand like this. Her, um, after she got at a hospital, her 
her arm and hand started to um, loosen up where she was able to point more clearly. And Rosie also tried to fight for the other 11 children as well. And the Supreme Court found them, found that case to, um, to be on after the, in other words, um, the Supreme Court found was married to manipulate the children and to believe, to believe that they were actually in, that they were actually intelligent when they wasn't. So the court found them to be profoundly mentally re retarded. Mary tried, as well as Annie. And then Annie also got a high school diploma, as well as she uh, went to college and she got her bachelor's degree in civil rights. So she actually did a civil rights movement where she uh, little to no speech for people uh, with disabilities to have a higher the equal education so um, and then she also wrote this book with Rosemary and then this book became a movie as well and this book had um, like awards and the movie also um, was a world winning movie as well. How I relate to um, to this book. I have several palsy as well and um, I never got the education I needed um, where Annie had um, didn't had a didn't have an education at all and I was put in special ed um, because I was diagnosed with mental retardation, I was diagnosed with myo case, where Annie was diagnosed with a profound case. And so, um, and then I also recently, a lot of you guys know that I started going back to school, and um, I'm going to school to become a special ed teacher and to work at the UCPA the Night of Cerebral Palsy Association School and then I also want to be a motivator speaker and write my own book as well. So I have a lot of inspiration goals as well as Annie did. Um, and I, this is just such a great book and I highly recommend you guys reading this book and um, and watching the movie as well. I will put the links down below as to where you can get the book as well as where you can uh, get the movie. And then there's a little video clip of Annie, and I'll put that down below in the links as well. But um, I'm hoping to do more book review in the near future. So please let me know how you. Um, please let me know if you want me to do more more book review. I'll be more than happy to do more of them. I really enjoy doing one. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, subscribe. If you guys want to comment, comment. And and thank you so much for watching and I love you guys and we know that we are unique, different special and unique ways and bye see you next time.